Hello guys, Timothy Gaming here. Today I'm making a tutorial video about how to port forward your server. You might not have the same router companies I have, which is TP-Link, but it's basically the same concept for all routers. And I really hope you would, um, I really hope you will figure out how to do it because it's not hard, especially with TP-Link. It's really, really easy. So today I'll show you how to do it. First, what you want to do is go go to Start Menu, right click, go to Run, do CMD. Then do IP config. Okay. Then you should look at your default gateway. Okay. Mem uh, remember it. Go into your uh, Chrome or whatever you have and put it in. Now, for some routers, you could do uh, its port 8080, and then uh, that's the port. But for some routers, it's 8088. But for some other routers, it's different, so you have to like search up what's the port for yours. For mine, it's 8088. And so basically, figure out what it is and then just put it in whatever your information is. Log in. Okay. So, CTP link, your router, and everything. So, you should, I don't know, if, uh, for me, it's see all the stuff is here. I don't know, you should have it right here, right here. Find it, find forwarding or port forwarding. Now, what you want to do is, <coughs> for example, if you, you're not going to have all these here, but so what you want to do is do add new service port. Now, this is what you want to do this is the port of Minecraft. So, remember when I said uh, that you should leave this 25565? Port, where is it? Right here. If you didn't leave it two five six five, it's okay. If you, I don't know, if you made it two five five seven five, six five two five six five is like the default port, so it's the best to use. So, for example, I use two five five six five. So copy it and put it in here. Internal port, put it in here too. If you, if you just have, if you don't have internal port, just put it. It's okay. IP address. You go back to IP config and you look at your IPv4 address. You see it's 192.168.2.105. So you put it in. And make sure it's right under Wi Fi LAN adapter Wi Fi and your IPv4 address, not gateway IPv4 address. Status enabled common service support. You see all these. Just leave it at that. In protocol, all like you these you don't really do anything. Like, if you do have these and you must pick one, I think it's DNS, but I'm not sure. If you don't have to pick one, just leave it at that. Oh, for me it's an error because uh, I already have these here. Let me just delete all these, so you guys see it works. So now I have. I'm starting fresh. I have no ports. So you go here, 25565, or whatever your port is. Two five, oops. IP address, 192.168.2.5. All enabled, save. Okay, so now it's, make sure that that is enabled, yeah, so. Now people should be able to join your server. And how do you, they will join your server? You go to a website called ipchicken.com. And then your your uh your thing is gonna pop up in the middle, and then um it's going. I mean, I don't want to press on it because I don't want you guys to see my IP address, and I'm gonna have a lot of people trying to hack me. That's not cool. I don't want that to happen. You can't miss it. It's gonna be like literally in the middle of your screen. You're gonna see it, and uh, you basically give that IP to others, and then. In another video, I'll show you how to actually make it a letter IP so it's easier to remember. So I hope this video helped you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.